Hey guys, I'm Dr. Jessica Finley. And I'm Dr. Jeff Finley. Continuing this month on our focus of the heart, we're going to take it a little bit deeper to the emotional side of the heart. We're going to look at one of the most simplest and most profound things any person can do to help heal their heart. While simple, it does not imply that it's easy. We're talking about forgiveness. While this can be a difficult topic for people, we want to walk through a few concepts to clarify what forgiveness is and what it is not. Number one, forgiveness is not saying that what they did doesn't matter. It's letting them know that it does matter to you. Number two, forgiveness is not letting them off the hook. It is releasing our chance for revenge. Number three, forgiveness does not mean you must continue to stay in relationship with that person. Some people are unsafe. Whether that be physical or emotionally, that doesn't mean you have to stay in a relationship with that person. Number four, it's important to understand that forgiveness is not a natural thing. If you identify as a Christian, this is one of our commandments from God, the things that he requires of us because of what he did for us. But regardless of your religion, it's not a normal thing to just simply forgive someone. It requires work and an actual choice. So these are four simple but difficult concepts. When we choose to hold on to unforgiveness in our lives, it's like carrying around a ball and chain. Some counselors or even doctors believe that 80 to 90 percent of physical illness or disease is emotional or spiritual root cause. In fact, this is why when we work with patients, we ask about family, friends, coworkers, bosses, so on and so forth, because we want to know how you are doing physically, but we also want to know what your emotional connections look like on a day-to-day -day basis. When someone is feeling heavy-hearted or carrying stress around with them, it's very evident and it's very that it's physical. Forgiveness is just the first step. It must come from a decision that you no longer wish to allow that person to have power over you. Because unfortunately, most of the time, that person doesn't have any idea that something's wrong. Or even if they do, they probably don't care. Meaning the only person that is hurting is you. Once you make the decision to forgive, then comes the emotional process to deal with your decision. Sometimes it takes forgiving that person a few times for your heart to truly understand what you're choosing to do. Sometimes the person you may need to forgive is not someone else at all. It may be simply choosing to forgive yourself. And that can be one of the hardest people to forgive. So we want to walk, th walk you through a little mantra or prayer, whatever you want to call it. You don't have to follow this exactly, but this is a good example of what, what the decision looks like. I choose to forgive, insert the person's name here, I take away, I take back any power I have given them over me, and I choose to give them back any power I have taken over them. I choose to no longer speak ill things of them. It is very important to speak this out loud. When you have to speak something out loud, it has power, and things also make it more of a declaration instead of just a feeling or a thought. Now guys, what we're asking you to do we know is not easy, but we can promise that it's well worth it. Mm -hmm. The best way to do it is just kind of take a moment and quietly pray or meditate and see who in your life you feel you may be harboring unforgiveness for or towards. And then once you have that person, Repeat that mantra or make that decision to truly forgive them and let it go and see where that leads you. See what kind of freedom you may find in your life physically. So as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. We know it's a little bit different than the ones that we focus on, but we want to try and change it up a little bit. So thanks for tuning in and have a good day.